Hey guys, I'm here under this uh, canopy of sea grapes here in South Florida, right on the beach. And the reason for that is I'm here collecting my favorite wild edible mushroom, which is known as the sea grape chanterelle mushroom, or more specifically, Cantharellus covalobe. The reason it's my favorite is because of simply the taste and flavor of this mushroom. Uh, it is on par, if not better, than the common cultivated uh, species of mushrooms like lion's mane, oyster, and shiitake. Um, another reason is because uh, when it fruits, it fruits pretty abundantly. Uh, I always have more than I can eat when I leave, and I like to share this mushroom with people. Um, this video is less of like an identification video, so I'm not going to go into the features and identifying. Um, if you're watching this, I assume that you're deep enough into this to uh, know how to do that kind of homework. But uh, I just, in case you weren't familiar, wanted to introduce you to this mushroom. And even a lot of people who are uh, aware of chanterelles aren't aware that there's a species that grows mycorrhizally with sea grapes by the beach. Uh, they kind of assume it's something you have to find in mixed woods, which uh, other species definitely do. Other chanterelle species definitely do grow in mixed woods, but um, this one's really easy to access here in South Florida, given that it, uh, it grows at the beach. Um, I've noticed about these mushrooms that partner up with the sea grape is some spots I find just the uh, common, the standard Cantharellus cocolobe species, which has this like salmon pink color. Um, but at this spot I'm at in particular, I also find these, uh, these white ones. They're almost, almost white. Um, and then there's a orange colored variety that grows here as well. And to my knowledge, the uh, true Cantharellus cocolobi is the salmon pink one. Uh, and uh, I, I'm not aware of any other um, species that's in the literature that's noted to have that relationship with sea grapes, but clearly uh, there's at least three different species growing here. Um, so if you have the answer to that question, get at me in the comments because I am curious about that and why in some spots it'll cater to only one species where others uh, will allow uh, multiple species to grow there. That's pretty much it for this video. Um, yeah, so I'll end with that.